出してみせるいざ No matter how good you are, no matter how powerful your greed is, no matter how much money you have spent on grand fantasy, the moment when your cow is banned, everything is over. Your effort, your investment, your greed. Hi, Konis, this is Kun. Getting banned is no longer fresh news in grand fantasy. You can witness these tragedies anytime, anywhere. I've seen a lot of cases. Some players say they are not guilty, they are innocent. But at the end of the day, this is a well kept secret between you and your god. I can't and I won't judge. However, if you want your account to be banned, you're very lucky because today I'm going to share you 10 very effective ways to get your account banned. Let's get started. Using Viramed is one of the most common ways to get banned. You see, this extension is good and helpful, but it doesn't mean it is legal. You can use hotkeys, shortcuts, quick join, and a lot of very convenient functions to improve your efficiency and gameplay experience. But unfortunately, Viramed is an unauthorized tool and it also puts other players at disadvantage. That's why there is a risk of getting banned if you're using this third party extension. I personally love all the cool features in Viramed. And I do hope side games can consider including some of them, like the skill cooldowns and debuff timers, into the game. But then again, it is really unfair to players who are not using this extension. So if you really want your best friend to get banned, don't forget to introduce him, Viramed. The ban is permanent. Very obviously, Zui Bot is a cheat. You can't download this extension directly from Chrome Store, so it cannot be tracked like normal extensions we use every day. You can use Zoo Bot to farm Angel Hello, grind mids during Guild War,、um, scenario campaigns, showdowns, or even help you to do slime blast automatically. It can imitate your clicks, randomizes the delay, and pretends like a real human. Of course, it can also help you to refill your AP. This is the real deal if you want to say bye to Grim Fantasy and your face. The ban is permanent. There are several types of speed bots or frame per second bots available for Grim Fantasy. The outdated ones、uh, modify JavaScript and HTML page to help you increase the combat and animation speed. You can finish a turn like two times or even five times faster than anyone else in a r a y but they can be easily detected. And this is also one of the reasons why there is a pop up window every time when you reload or refresh a page too fast. Because Science Games believes that this is an effective way to prevent players from using this loophole. However, some more sophisticated tools like Combat Sniffer can cast skills and skip animations across multiple tabs or windows. This is also a cheap bot. If you really want to win so badly, go ahead and get it. But please remember the natural law of karma is always there waiting for you. Sarasa Bot is a cheap bot, specially designed for race. Sometimes you can't help but wonder why other players are able to join a race so fast, while、well, you still have to cut and paste the raid IDs from Twitter and go through all the hard work. Yes, you're right, some of them are using this bot. It helps to fill out raids, skip animations, refill BP, join r a c e faster than other players, and it can even warn you when there is a capture pop up. It has no Chrome Store ID. And can be launched on demand, so it's harder to detect compared with extensions like Viramed, Angela, FPS, or other UI modifications. No matter what, a cheat is always a cheat. Watch your back, because the ban is permanent. As the name implies, poker bots help you to play poker, and they act like a human too. From click delay, click points, to mouse movement, everything is randomized. Some poker bots even have scanning or screening f u n c t i o n to recognize your cards and combinations. However, the designers of poker bot probably didn't know one of the golden rules of gambling. You should never gamble without taking breaks. These bots are also one of the most common reasons for players to become a real loser. Trevor Ban is relatively rare among Grumble Fantasy players compared with other bans. 
because most of us just stay at one place or play the game through the same IP address. However, if you travel from your country to another country within a day, of course, your IP address will change. And if the travel time is unrealistic or it looks suspicious, you may get a temporary ban, which usually only lasts um, a day or few days based on how unrealistic is your travel time. If the travel time is too short and too ridiculous and it happens too frequently, you may get a permanent ban. Psygames has already stated that they would take actions on those who cause extra burden to their servers. This is no joke. You can reload your game, your ray, your co-op room or list. These are totally fine. But if you reload co-op room for like 50 times within a minute and keep doing this for the next one hour, you may also get a temporary ban. Harassment and disturbing messages are also one of the most common reasons for players to get banned. This is not something new but worth to mention. If you wanted to watch someone's profile page with vulgar language, think twice. I believe One Punch also falls into this category because it's basically a sabotage to other players' raid. I'm not 100% sure. So if you know, please leave a comment here to tell us whether it belongs to this category. Real money trading of course is not allowed, however I don't think side games has been doing enough to stop players from trading their accounts. You can easily google and find people who want to sell their accounts and there are even some players who are selling their accounts for as high as 2300 USD. Wow, this is truly amazing. Last but not least, account sharing is also forbidden in Grim Fantasy. It is fine to play Grim Fantasy using multiple devices, but if your IP address keeps changing and the activities look suspicious, you may also be slapped by a ban. Luckily, you won't get banned by subscribing to Kun's channel. So please do it now and don't forget to share this video with your friends so they won't step onto these landmines. Finally, cheating is for losers who have no confidence in themselves. So never lie to yourself. Play like a gentleman and learn to lose with a smile. This is Kun. I will see you again very soon. Ciao.